Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhad. In this session, we're going to look at the role of internal auditors in the financial auditing. So what is the role of this group of people who are called internal auditor when it comes to the financial auditing? Remember, the financial auditing is done by external auditors who are usually, not usually, who are CPAs. Okay, so what does the internal auditor play? What role do they play? So the first thing we want to know is who are the internal auditors? Okay, first thing you need to know is they are employees, employees of the company. What does that mean? It means they work for the company. They get their paycheck from the company. They're just like any other employee. They are not outsiders. So internal auditors, not like external auditors, you have to differentiate. External auditors is an outside firm coming to audit the company. Internal auditors are employees of the company itself. They get paid from they get paid from the company and this creates an independence issue this create a, a bias issue because now you are trying to audit your yourself so this is the first thing you want you want to know the role of internal auditor expand dramatically recently for many reasons one size of the companies are getting larger the complexity is getting larger and specifically current events and what do i mean by current events here we're we're, we're talking about enron wordcom um, when uh, when the SEC and when the government conducted their investigation, they find out that, that if the internal auditors were properly doing their job, if the internal auditors were properly doing their job, then fraud could have been prevented. So what did they do? And that's why Sarbanes-Oxley, Sox, they emphasize internal auditing a lot because they want to strengthen the role of internal auditors. So current events placed a more important role on the shoulders of internal auditors to be more objective, to be more stern, to have a larger role at the company. Internal auditors, generally speaking, they are more knowledgeable about the company than the external auditors. Think about it, they work for the company. They know the ins and outs of everything. They're there every single day, 365 days a week in theory, versus the external auditor. The external auditor could be there for three, six, nine months, but not every day and they are not looking at everything internally. Internal auditors, they know more about the company than the external auditor. The internal auditors, they play a big role in corporate governance. Corporate governance is how is the company, how is the company, or how is, who runs the company, okay? Um, the management, is it the management, is the board of director, who's, who's in charge? So the internal auditors play a major role in a sense that they look over management, make sure management are doing their job, and they report to the board of directors. And this is important. Who they report to, the reporting role is important. Why? Because if the internal auditor reports to management, then kind of defeat the purpose of the role of internal auditor. So you're, you are reporting to man, about management to management. If management doesn't like something, they can dismiss it. But if you, if you go ahead and uh, allow the internal auditor to, to report directly. So let's think about it this way. Let's let, let's assume those are the internal auditors. And let's assume management is here. Management is here. And above management, you have the board of directors. Now, the internal auditor, they're monitoring management and operation. If they report to management, well, that's not really good because if management, again, doesn't like something, they may kind of dismiss it. So if, if the internal auditors can report directly, have access to the board of directors, then that's going to strengthen the corporate governance. It's going to strengthen how the how the company is being run. Then the corporate, the board of directors, who is supposed to be independent, once again, this is an assumption we are making, supposed to be independent, they will put pressure on management to fix when he, whatever they need to fix or deal with any, whatever problem we are dealing with, whether it's an operational problem or an accounting or a finance problem. Also, to, to, to tell you how important is the role of internal audit is the NYSE, the New York Stock Exchange, companies that's listed on the NYSE, NYSE registrant, mandate that internal audit function for listed companies. So simply put, if you want your company to be listed on the exchange, on the NYSC, which is one of the most prestigious stock exchanges in the world, you have to have an internal audit function and it has to be functioning, right? It has to be functioning. What do I mean functioning? You remember the external auditor will have to report on your internal audit. So you have, you have to get that internal audit function certified by an external auditor. So that's why it's very important. The organization the, the, that oversees internal auditing profession is the Institute of Internal Auditors. A pro, a professional guidance for internal auditors is provided by the IIA, the Institute of Internal Auditor, which is, I am a member of the IIA, the Institute of Internal Auditor. 
Um, the highest certification you can get as an internal auditor is something called CIA, and it's not Central Intelligence Agency. It stands for Certified Internal Auditor, which I am a CIA, Certified Internal Auditor, in addition to being a CPA. Now, how do you become a CIA? Well, I'm going to show you on the website real quick. You have to pass a four-part exam. You have to have a certain type of experience. But if you want to be an internal auditor, that's the, that's it's a highly regarded designation in the industry. And that's not the only designation. There are more specialized certification available from the IIA, which I will show you shortly. So the Institute of Internal Auditors provide the following definition of internal auditing. So this is what internal auditing is. Internal auditing is an independent. Again, here we have a question mark about independence, but it's supposed to be independent. Why? Because the company are paying the internal auditors. So think about it. Your boss is paying you and you're supposed to look to look over their shoulders. So uh, are you really independent? You're supposed to be independent. You're supposed to be objective, provide objective assurance and consultancy activity designed to add value and improve organizational operation. So the role of the auditor is to make the organization, organization run better. It helps an organization accomplish its objective by bringing a systematic, disciplined approach to evaluate and improve the effectiveness of risk management, control, and the corporate governance. This is the definition of internal auditing. Let's go to the IIA website, which has already pulled the website. Um, to go there, the address is the the IIA.org, the Institute of Internal Auditing, the IIA.org. Um, and again, I, I am a member, uh, and let me show you their certification. Uh, here's certification, CIA, the CIA certification is the Certified Internal Auditor. You can click on it and see what you need to do if you want to be a uh, CIA. There's the uh, CGAP. The Certified Government Auditing Professional, if you if you work in government or if you'd like to work in government, this is a good certification. If you're interested in financial services, there is the Certified Financial Service Auditor, CFSA. There is the uh, Certification and Controlled Self-Assessment, and they used to have a certification called CISA. I think now it's independent. It's about information, information system. Um, but this is, if you look at the CIA uh, requirement, you could go in here if you're interested and look at uh, why become a why become a certified eligibility and pricing uh, CPE requirement which is continuous professional education let's see let's see what the eligibility requirements are um, uh, CIA because they change I I've been CIA for a few years now they, they constantly change um, the education you must hold three uh, or four-year post-secondary degree or higher, an associate degree or an A-level certificate. Uh, this is the educational requirement, acceptable copy, copy of the degree, letter from the university confirming the degree, letter, um, character reference from another CIA, uh, one of those individuals, work experience. Um, if you have a master's degree, you only need 12 months of internal auditing experience or its equivalent. If you have a bachelor's degree, you need 24 months. If you have an associate degree, you need 60 months of internal auditing experience and there is obviously an exam that you have to take so on and so forth but this is basically um, how the how you get you obtain your certification once again it's a highly highly um, highly regarded certification in the industry okay so let's keep going here and uh, Internal auditors are expected to provide value to the organization through improved operation effectiveness while also performing traditional responsibilities such as reviewing the reliability and integrity of information, make sure the information is correct, ensuring compliance with policies and regulation, make sure that the employees are following the company's policies and procedures in terms of buying material, um, pricing, competition, as well as actually accounting, make sure they're following the proper accounting. So as an internal auditor, you need to know some accounting, you need to know some management, you have to be really a well-rounded individual because you are looking at the company from all different perspectives. And that's why they are they are highly valued because their, uh, their skills are pretty diversified. And the third thing is safeguarding of assets. Again, make sure your assets are safeguarded, your assets are protected. What's the relationship uh, of internal and external auditor? Now, this is important because this is an this is an auditing course, and in auditing course, we focus on the external auditor. So, internal auditors are responsible to management and the board of directors. 
this is what internal auditors are responsible for. So they, they report to they report about management to the board of directors. That's who are they are responsible for. Whereas external auditors are, are responsible in theory to the financial statement users. So notice the responsibility. Internal auditors are responsible for someone who's inside the company. They report to someone who's inside the company. External users in theory are responsible for people who are outside the company, outside the company, financial statement users. External auditors rely on internal auditor when using the audit risk model to assess control risk. Now, when the external auditor start to do an audit, well, if there is an internal audit department in that company, the first thing they want to look at is they want to look at to see how well they manage the risk. What is the risk model? Can they rely on that risk model? And if so, they may be able to reduce substantive testing. Okay. So if internal auditor are effective, the external auditor can significantly reduce control risk, which is means reduce substantive testing. Simply put, if your controls are good, if you have your good accounting information system, you're capturing appropriate the transaction appropriately, recording the transaction appropriately, making sure all your T's are crossed and I's are dotted, then if, if, you, if that's your role as an internal auditor, it's gonna make it much easier for the external auditor to conduct the audit. So it's gonna, it's gonna reduce, in theory, reduce the fee that the external auditor charged to the company. Now, how do they determine if the internal auditor function is effective. So how does the external auditor makes that determination? Well, they, they, they need to know if, if, the, if the internal auditor are independent of the operation unit being evaluated. Independent means no one is controlling you. In other words, you have no vested interest to tweak the rules because you work under someone who's being audited. If, if the internal auditor is, a, is an independent division, then they carry more value to the external auditors. Also, are they competent and well-trained? Do, do they know what they're doing? Okay. Three, apply a systematic and disciplined approach, including quality control. Do they have quality control? Do they review their work on a regular basis? What is the role of internal auditor inside the company? Um, what, what is their role? How, how does the company define the role of the internal auditor? Are they just like basically uh, uh, like an added function or a value added function? Does the company really value their role? Okay, what's the experience with the internal auditor? What's the auditor's experience with the internal auditor over the years? Now, if, it's, if this is a first year audit, you really have no experience with them, but over several years, you're gonna know if your experience with the internal auditor is good or not good. You would know if they are reliable or not. And what's important is the company culture and this ties to the role of the internal auditor. How many people do you have in the internal auditing department? Is it one person operation? What does that tell you? It tells you that the company doesn't really value internal auditing. What, what, what is their percentage of the budget? Is their percentage 1% of the budget or is it 5% or is it 10%? Obviously, the higher their percentage of the budget, the more value the company puts on the role of the internal auditor. Then the external auditor can rely more on the internal auditor when they are performing their work. So those are the things that the external auditor look at to determine the effectiveness, how well or how important is the internal auditor's job. Okay. What are some similarities between the internal and the external auditor? Both, mu both must be competent as auditor and remain objective and independent in performing their work and reporting the results. So they have to tell basically the truth in the most objective way. Both follow a similar methodology in performing their audit, including planning and performing test of control and substantive testing. Now, when I was studying for the CIA exam, a lot, a lot of topics that comes in auditing, in a regular auditing course, is covered again in the CIA because you are an auditor. The only difference is you are an internal auditor, not, not an external auditor. So the same, the way you, you perform the test of control, the way you perform substantive testing, it's basically the same, the same way you do things. So the roles are basically the same. They do the same type of work. Both consider risk and materiality in deciding the extent of their test and evaluating the results. However, their decision about materiality and risk may differ because external auditors have different needs than management or the board. So that the materiality for the, the way external auditors set materiality is different than the way the internal auditor set materiality. The internal auditor should tolerate less mistakes because their job is to make sure the company is running properly, making sure everything is being carried 100%. If that's the case, then they should then they should they will tolerate less mistake. Also, the risk is different than the risk of the external auditor because if they are if they are giving an opinion, they are giving an opinion to management and they are giving an opinion to the board of directors. There's not really a lot of risk because they can always go back basically inside the company and fix things. But the risk of the auditor is is higher. If they issue the wrong report, then they are liable for outside parties, which is much much riskier for external auditor. So hopefully this session helps you kind of look at the role of internal auditing, 
the role of internal auditing vis-a-vis -vis financial financial auditing if you have any questions any comments by all means email me or see me in class if you're studying for your cpa exam as always study hard it's worth it